How do you rent your home to your company completely tax-free? There's a little known section of the IRS code called 280A that allows you to rent any residence, whether that be your home or a boat or a mobile home, tax-free as long as you rent it for less than 15 days. So essentially, you rent it for 14 days, your residence, you don't have to report the income, you can't deduct the expenses, but that's okay, we don't need expenses if we don't have income. In other words, you can't show a loss from the activity. So how does this apply to your business? Can you think of a reason that your business could rent your personal residence? You could rent it for company meetings. You can't explicitly use it for entertainment purposes unless it is an employee gathering, such as a holiday party or a summer picnic. So as long as you're renting it for some business use, other than entertainment and those exceptions, it's completely deductible by the company and it is completely tax-free to you. So how does this work? The entity does have to be an S corporation or a C corporation. Now, we have another video about LLCs and what all that means, so you can watch that. But for this purposes, we're gonna assume you have a separate legal entity that is operating the business. The business is going to rent your residence for some business activity. Let's say it's a employee meeting. You're going to have a planning strategy session and you're gonna rent it out for $350 a day. And you do that multiple times over the year. So when you have 14 days at 350, that's seven grand, that $7,000 is a deduction for the corporation. $7,000 deduction goes through to you personally on your 1040 as $7,000 in income. So far, so good. The rule 280A says as long as you don't rent it for 14 days, more than 14 days, this income doesn't get taxed. So what does that look like on your tax return? But you're gonna put that on schedule E, like you would any other rental property income. You're going to list your residence and the other information on there. You're going to show $7,000 as income. And then you're going to have another expense down here. And it is going to be called 280A deduction. For $7,000. Leaving you with no taxable income. So the corporation gets a deduction, you don't have any income. Wonderful. Now, the question is, how much can I charge? It has to be a fair market value. You cannot charge more. There is technically no income cap. The, the, the only restriction is the 14 days, but you don't want to go hog wild on this. It has to be a reasonable amount. Now, if you live in Malibu and you've got a gorgeous place and you're renting the whole thing for an employee party and you can deduct five grand for the day, great. But for most of us, that's not gonna work. You've gotta figure out what would I be able to charge on Airbnb to rent this place out for a day or half a day. And that's the amount that you have to use. It's important that you document it. You don't necessarily have to have a rental agreement, although that would be preferred, but some kind of documentation as to what you're renting it for, how much per day, and what the rules and regulations are around the house, just like you would if you were renting it very by Airbnb or some other third party. So that's it. That's how you get a tax-free deduction from your business to you personally, no income tax. Make sure it's not for entertainment, make sure you document it, and make sure it is for a legitimate business activity.